In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to execute my ecosystem for a brick and mortar business, in particular, a boudoir photography studio, because I have so many people who are in my program who are photographers. Um, and for some reason, I keep getting a lot of boudoir photographers um, attracted to my program. And so I thought I would just take the time to kind of go over the nuances of the strategy so that you guys can understand that the strategy is the same, whether we are doing something for a brick and mortar business, whether we're doing something for an online business, because I think a lot of people have the misconception that my ecosystem replaces some type of direct response marketing, but that's actually not what it does. And so I'm going to go over not only how the ecosystem fits into that, but I'm also going to go over two of the most popular strategies in order to get people into a brick and mortar business, such as a photography business. Now, what I'm actually going to explain today is something that I took the same strategy and applied it to a gym. And so as we go through, you're going to know exactly what type of offer to use and exactly how to build the ecosystem around that specific offer. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Let me go ahead and do that. Every great strategy starts with having a great cup of coffee in your hand, or if it's the afternoon, a little vino. Okay, so what we're going to do is, let me get a pretty color. Let me get a pretty color. Now let's do a little purple. Let's do a little lighter purple so we can see. Okay, so everyone has cold traffic, right? It doesn't matter whether you are brick and mortar, whether you are an online business, we all have to start with cold traffic, right? So what we need to start with is some type of offer, okay? Now, here's where, in my opinion, a lot of brick and mortar and even online businesses get lead gen completely wrong, or they actually have the wrong idea. Let me give you an example. So just last week, um, I did an ads blitz with my students inside my $7 program, and there was a woman who um, owned a some type of med spa where they did hair removal. And as I was telling her what her lead magnet, or in most cases, I like to call them value bombs because we don't ask for names and email addresses and a little bit more on that later. But just think of it as a lead magnet. A lot of people are kind of using lead magnets in the wrong way. And I hate to say wrong because nothing is ever wrong. But so she wanted to get people into this med spa where she did hair removal. And one of her proprietary methodologies and recipes was for this sugaring recipe. And I actually told her, I said, you should give away the recipe as your legion offer. And she was like, well, Laurel, if I give that away, then people won't have a need to come in and have us do it for them. I said, ah, but you're looking at this the wrong way. What you want your offer to do is attract people who need what you have to offer, right? Okay, I'll give you guys a couple of different scenarios on this. So the whole purpose is to attract. That's what lead generation is. How can we get the people who need what we offer into the door or into our funnel if we're talking about an online business? So if she goes on video or if she does a written post, it does not matter. And she says, hey, this sugaring recipe removes hair in the most painless way, and it could actually be done with things that are around your house. This is the recipe that we use inside our med spa that gets the best results, and I'm just making stuff up, right? And she gives that away. And so it is going to attract people who, what? Need to remove hair, right? That is a lead, okay? I think you guys keep thinking, well, a lead is only a person who wants to actually come in. That's not true. A lead is a person who needs what you have. And so this is how she could easily turn that lead who wants to do it themselves into someone who could actually come in to her med spa and actually have them do it for them. Because 
you have to think about this, right? And this is the way, the same way that I attracted people into my ad agency, right? A lot of people say, Laurel, you give everything away. Don't people go do it themselves? Yes, yeah, some people do, but most people want me to do it for them. And so hopefully me explaining this is going to help you guys understand how to actually attract leads because a lot of you guys could be attracting more people, but you're trying to be, you're trying to cause too much friction because you're trying to get that two to 3% of people. This is how you get a bigger slice of the pie. And this is why my ad strategy is so profitable because it focuses on getting people who need to solve that problem. So if she takes that lead in messenger and says, Hey, here's my sugar recipe. But just so you know, it is going to take about four to five hours to make by the time that you boil it and you do all these things. Now, once you have it made, you're going to have to be super, super careful because most women, when they try to do this themselves, they end up burning themselves or they spill it on their carpet. And by the way, this is a hell thing to get out of your carpet. But how about this? I've got an appointment open on Tuesday. You can come in. It's 10 minutes. I'll have you in and out within 15 minutes. You could even do it during the lunch hour. Could I put you down? Do you see how we attracted the person who thought they might have wanted to do it themselves until we educated them on the process and what it actually took and we could turn those into a customer? Same with boudoir photography, okay? I wanted to use a simpler example so that you guys can understand this concept, right? So with boudoir photography, there are two offers that work really, really well, okay? Okay. Whenever we're looking at women who have an interest in boudoir photography, it's a very big confidence play, isn't it? And so what are some of the things that we can get women who would be interested in boosting their confidence to do? So there's two offers that we look at whenever it comes to boudoir photography. And it doesn't have to be this. I'm just giving you guys two examples of lead generation tactics that we used in order to get people to walk through the door. Number one was a red lipstick challenge. Okay. And so the boudoir photographer like actually took women on a lipstick challenge, like took them into the psychology behind the lightest shades of lipstick going into day five, where they um, had to go with the bright red. And then she showed them a couple of photography techniques all on Zoom. Now, another one, which is by far my favorite, is a five-day boudoir selfie challenge, okay? And so basically this photographer went through five days with women who were interested in doing a selfie boudoir session. And this is all local, right? You could take this five day one step further and you could actually say, hey, we're going to do a boudoir challenge. Come to my studio for absolutely free every single morning for five days. And they could actually walk them through that what a boudoir photography session is like. Now, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to do that for free. But here's the thing. Most boudoir photographers say if someone walks into their studio, they're going to be sold. Right. And so why not create a free some type of experience so people can walk through the door and experience what it's like? I guarantee if you get people into your studio, you are going to sell them, especially if you get them comfortable over something like a five day challenge. OK, I'm just trying to give you guys some really great ideas. OK, like, for instance, I just over the last month, I took a guy who opened up a shake bar inside his gym and the way that we got people into the gym was by giving away a 50% off coupon to try one of the new protein shakes. And then once people got into the gym, they were like, hey, if you got a protein shake, you get a free, a week's free of boot camp. And so we can apply the same framework to any type of business, even online. I was just talking to one of my students this morning who was trying to make this fit in with his um, digital business, which is B2B. And they qualify leads for businesses. So before the business gets on the phone, his team gets on the phone and pre-qualifies them. So the business owner is actually only getting on the phone with highly qualified people. I said, well, I said, you could easily write down the process at which you pre-qualify and say, hey, do you want these questions that someone in your office could easily, we could teach them how to pre-qualify if you use this checklist, do you want it? And then once you get them into Messenger, you can shift them into the conversation like, hey, yes, we see people, you know, try to deploy this themselves all the time, but 
you know, here's here's the things that you have to know. Like if you get one of your office managers to try to apply this, here's the here's the the learning curve that's going to happen. And you, but you're going to be able to get them trained up. If they practice this for three months, you're going to have a solid um, way to get on, on the phone with highly qualified leads. But I already have someone who's already trained to do this. Do you have three months to wait or do you want to start implementing this now? So you see where I'm going with this. The whole point of lead gen is to get in messenger with people who have the problem that you can solve. Because I think a lot of people look at Legion completely different. They look at it like, I only want to talk to qualified people. The whole thing is, you just have to know what is the real issue? Like, do they really want to do things themselves or do they think they do? Because they don't understand all of the processes. And so you don't know that until you have those conversations. And so the reason that my ad strategy works so well, and, and let's go into what that ecosystem actually looks like, because the ecosystem is built around this offer. A lot of people think my ecosystem replaces this. It does not replace this. We build it around this. So let's look at the boot, go back to the boudoir photography, right? So they would be sending cold local traffic to this offer, whether it is a red lipstick challenge, whether it's a selfie boudoir. And so what we're going to do is there's a couple of different holes, right? There's always a hole here that people are going to hit that page and they're not going to sign up, right? So we're that's where we're going to plug the hole with three videos that are strategically created to attract this type of client. And so in the boudoir photography case, it could be a confidence thing, right? L list all of the problems that your clients are having who are interested in boudoir, but might not have moved forward yet. It could be a brand story. So one of my students in my $7 program, I helped her launch her power content and she has a permanent jewelry in Marietta, Georgia. She does permanent jewelry, but her backstory was that she was a nurse and her passion was for starting her own business. And by telling her brand story inside that power content video, she actually attracted other nurses in the area that might not have been interested necessarily in permanent jewelry, but they walked into her shop and did it because they wanted to support another nurse. And so that's why whenever you are putting this type of strategy in place, it's always important to tell your brand story. Also, it's important to show where are you filling the gap in your marketplace? If you are a boudoir photographer or any type of brick and mortar, what are the gaps that you're filling that your competitors are not doing that you can take advantage of it, right? So that's all of the things that make great power content videos. Maybe a behind the scenes look, what does a day at the boudoir photography studio look like, right? What does a day at the gym look like? And so as we're thinking about this overall strategy, we have to remember that yes, we're gonna send cold traffic to this, but remember there's also a hole right here. Like people that you're sending to this offer, they might not be responding because they don't trust you yet or anything like that, right? So what we can do is we could actually retarget the people who are hitting this offer and plug up this hole with power content so that they can see what's your story. They can see what's your gap. What is it like? What is a day experience like? And so what we want to do is we just want to create this ecosystem of content. The main offer is built to get leads through the door, whether the door is on an email list or whether it is the physical door, but that's the job of this. And then the ecosystem's job is to fill in the gaps. Why aren't people taking action? And so the first hole gets plugged by power content. The second hole, right? People who are doing this challenge, we're going to plug the holes with more middle of funnel content. Okay. And then we're also going to plug the holes with something that I use, which are 60 second reels videos that are gonna get that messenger conversation, like giving away that recipe or giving away that script or you know, giving away something that is going to get them back in messenger conversation because the other black hole is this. And so that's what our, that's what our middle of funnel content is actually going to plug in. So this is what my ecosystem would look like for someone who has a boudoir photography studio. But this is also what the ecosystem looks like, whether you have an online business or a, you know, a, a brick and mortar, or if you have um, a gym or anything like that. And so hopefully you guys have a better understanding of what this actually looks like, whether you have an online business, a brick and mortar business. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If you would like for me to personally put together a strategy specifically for your business, go to adswithlaurel.com and apply for my brand new 
and improved Lean on Laurel program. Now, you might be saying, Laurel, I've already, I've heard of your Lean on Laurel program, but here's the thing. We just shifted it into a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So um, a lot of students were like, you know what? I love your program, but I don't really like sitting on a lot of Zoom calls. And so we literally shifted it all to Voxer communication and Zoom calls as needed, which has been a very huge time saver for so many of my students. And so if you've been on the fence about joining Lean on Laurel, because you're like, I want to just talk to Laurel. I don't want to sit and talk to a group of people. Well, now's the chance. Go to adswithlaurel.com. There's some bonuses in there as well, because I also, like right now I'm sitting in my home in the French Quarter of New Orleans. We're actually having a Laurel Lounge event um, here at the house where students are going to come it's all, they're all free. We, we meet up four times a year um, at one of my houses. Last month, we had it um, at my Biloxi Beach house and students came and we literally, we drank wine. We put together strategies. We, you know, talked and and, and masterminded. It was a really great experience. And so I, I thought that that would be a great addition to the Lean on Laurel program. It's free for Lean on Laurel students. And that's actually the only way that you could do that. You have to be a Lean on Laurel student. But also my mentor and I, Nick Peterson, we put together a mastermind that's called the Success Circle. And as a Lean on Laurel member, you actually get free access to that. It's a $10,000 a year program. And so as a Lean on Laurel student, you actually get that free. So if you've been on the fence about joining Lean on Laurel, go to adswithlaurel.com, fill out the application because I do not take everybody. There is a short waiting list, um, but because of the program changes, um, we're able to get people in to the program a lot quicker. Um, and so if you have been on the fence, well, adswithlaurel.com and I will see you guys on the next video.